Welcome back to the channel and now I think we finally got a solution for all my new game computer headaches. Guys, I don't know if you remember but about a month ago I tried to do a review on the Gigabyte Aurorus Radeon 5600 XT 6 gigabyte overclocked video card and I was playing around with the biases that gigabyte had provided to make it boost at 1750 instead of the 1650 or 1620 or whatever it was so this was just a card that was on my radar now from what I did when I did research the v2 and the v1 are the same cards the v2 comes with the bias already done pretty much from what I'm gathering other than that they seem to be the same video card now the problem I was having, of course, was this system here would constantly just reboot. I would be playing the game, reboot, gone. And that is frustrating. Like I was angry to the point where I just wanted to hang something, the video card, for example. And I was getting really depressed about it because my history does have depression now since my car accident. And things like this, I know really sound stupid, but little things like this actually bring me down. And it did, it brought me down really bad. And the whole techie part of me just kind of left my brain. I was like, oh, I give up. Why bother? I just bought the card, let's send it back. Uh oh, no, I was out of the return window for Amazon. So I couldn't return it. They kept, now in Amazon's defense, I'll give them they did actually contact Gigabyte for me and had Gigabyte contact me, which was pretty cool. So they took that whole middle part that I would have had to do, sitting on the phone, waiting and waiting and waiting. They did that for me. So I applaud Amazon for giving me that personal touch, I guess. So, but it was out of like 10 days out. You'd think they would have done a little bend over, whatever. Anyway, in the bottom, the big part about it was I didn't want to send the card back to California ready to ship it all the paperwork's done and I'm like oh man and I don't know if I wasn't feeling as bad but a part of me said dude you're a tech this is what you do this is what you do on your show be smarter than this hey I'm gonna give this one last attempt so I unboxed everything put it back in the system and of course I had some reboots and I'm like oh crap because it's not easy just to get a fix done when you're trying to do something to fix it if the machine's not staying stable. So the reboot could be a day and a half later, it could be 10 minutes later, it could be five reboots while I'm live, as we've seen, it happened. And I'll put a link to that because it happened. It was really annoying. I took the card out during a live stream, that's how bad it was, and replaced the card during my live stream with a much lower end card just to keep myself going. That being said, that day, I really took it upon myself to, th to just think, why isn't there just a driver for the card? Maybe this is a software error. Maybe there's something conflicting. As you guys know, my Aurorus water cooler has to run Aurorus engine. And Aurorus engine has to run in the background no matter what, or my pump won't speed up or slow down based on temperatures. I also can't change the curve of how I want heat dissipation done via my fans in the software control. None of that would exist, making my $350 AIO rendered completely useless. So my options were to buy maybe an NVIDIA card and not being a big anything but AMD fan, that was hard to swallow at this point. I was getting very upset. I was getting very annoyed. So what I did, and this is what we're going to see right now, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. This has been running now one month, no reboots, no crashes, no errors. What you need to do is start off by, in Google, for example, uh, AMD drivers, hit enter. Then you're gonna be AMD drivers and support, click that first link. And now we're gonna go over, for example, I'm gonna hit 5600 series, RX 5600 and 5600 XT, submit. And you'll see that you have different releases here. So there's a Windows 10 64-bit edition, there's a Windows 7 64-bit, and so on. 
and most people right now i guess are either seven or ten most people are probably ten and then you're going to have your revision numbers or whatever so this will be the newest one is your optional so we're going to hit download this right here you can literally just x it out it doesn't do anything for you and when you're done of course just hit run there we go so what it's going to do now it's going to extract everything so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to copy where it's going so let's hit install at this point basically what it's going to do it's going to extract everything needed to do the installation so it'll be done in a minute do 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 that's my specialized sound effects figured you'd all appreciate that so as you can see, we're just downloading and pretty much this will work with any card. Uh, if you have to use Adrenaline 2020, this is the solution for anybody not wanting to use it. So if you don't have issues, but you don't want to use Adrenaline 2020, this is also another uh, way of doing an install for your video cards. Now we're going here. It's going to try and do the install. Now we're going to hit cancel, cancel. Yes. So what I've done is I stopped the installation completely. So on this system, I do not have Adrenaline 2020 running. So now what I'm going to do is go right here, control panel. I'll just type it even though I have it as one of my pop-ups. So when you start typing control panel will come up. You'll see control panel app, click it, maximize. Now we're just going to go to system. You're going to see my system specs and then device manager. And we're going to go to display adapters right here. So display adapters, you'll see RX 5600 XT. I want to update the driver. I don't know if this is an updated driver or not. So I'm not going to search automatically. We don't want to do that. We want to browse the computer. I'm going to hit paste. Remember that link that we just copied? There it is. Next. Now it's going to install the drivers from where it extracted all these drivers. So it doesn't just extract drivers for this video card. That Adrenaline 2020 actually has drivers for everything. I did it on my 480 earlier when I was doing a test and it, I did a 5600 install and it was done. So as you can see here, whoop, hopefully the recording is still recording because <laughs> so I had screen flicker. It now says that Windows has successfully updated your drivers. So I guess there was an updated driver for my video card. It's now installed. So I'm gonna hit close. And of course, to maximize this installation, it'll ask you to restart your computer and away you go. I do recommend hitting restart, making sure everything's all good and away you're, you're running without Adrenaline 2020. Everything is the way life used to be and you don't have any software conflicts running at all anymore, which was my biggest problem. So anyway, back to me. This will apply any 5500, 5600, 5700, or any card in that, you know, that series of range of those cards. If you're having random shutdowns, you're having crashing, you're having uh, errors and this, that, whatever, Give this a shot. I cannot guarantee 100% this is the solution for you, but I can tell you that my machine has been stable, streaming, and doing everything solid ever since I made this change. So Adrenaline 2020 is no longer on this one computer. Everything else still has Adrenaline 2020 running, no issues. But Adrenaline 2020 was definitely the culprit in this 5600 video card issue. So. The key is watch the video that I just did. Install or go to install Adrenaline 2020. Once the extraction is done, cancel the install. Your driver is there, I guarantee it. Do the install by going, like I said, in control panel, right clicking your video card, go to the folder and let that driver install, only that driver. And I can tell you, you should have a very stable system. The driver is not the issue, and the driver is not reasoning why AMD doesn't put out a driver that's gonna crash. 
but when that driver is married with software, it's very likely that it can conflict with something else. Again, Adrenaline 2020 is probably the best thing AMD has ever done. It's worked perfectly with everything else I have, but not that guy. So guys, that is the fix. If it works for you, please, please let it work for you because I've done a fix video before. A lot of people had problems and this worked for me. I wanna make that clear. This worked for me. I didn't have to send my card back. It's working perfect. Can upgrade my drivers manually now, which is something that I haven't done in so long, been relying on somebody's software package. Those days are over. My gamer is all manual and it is flawless. I haven't had issues since. Other than Fortnite once in a while, but that's Fortnite. Fortnite's broken. Just saying. Anyway, guys, I hope this solves anybody's problem out there with a 5600, 5500, 5700 in any series, any make. If you're having these issues, please try this first. Save yourself some headaches. You don't need Adrenaline 2020. I know it was great for streaming because I used it that way, but now I'm gone to XSplit and everything's working perfectly fine. So there's many alternatives. Adrenaline was just a nice, easy one-in-one -one package. So anyway, guys, till next time, I hope it works. Game over.